Andrea Weil, and I currently serve as president of Solomon Schechter Day School of Greater Boston, located in Newton, Massachusetts. And the challenge that we were really struggling with as a school was that our costs were continuing to rise and we needed to increase tuition in order to keep pace with that. In addition to, of course, increasing financial aid or increasing fundraising and, and other associated income sources. But at the same time, we were really concerned about the impact that our families who would not traditionally receive financial aid would have. And so as we sit down to think about it, you know, families who are making kind of below $200,000 a year and had multiple children in the school would quite typically qualify for traditional financial aid and would often seek traditional financial aid in order to make it happen. And at the same time, parents who had significant wealth were able to afford our tuition increases and it wasn't having too adverse of an impact on them. But there was this section in the middle where when we looked at financial aid and the impact of our tuition on those families, you know, you were looking at 20 to 25% of their gross income going towards tuition. And we really didn't think that that was realistic or sustainable, especially in a conservative day school community. And so we were lo really looking for a way in which we could partner with our families and say to them, you know, you're making a multi-year commitment to the school by sending multiple children to the school. But at the same time, we need to make a commitment to you that this is going to be something that your family can handle throughout the entire life of the program, the entire life of the school. And so, you know, when your first kid comes in, you might be able to afford it. When your second kid comes in, you're very likely to be able to afford it. But by the time your third kid gets in, you're looking at a significant amount of money that's going towards tuition. And for many families, that's the straw that breaks the camel's back. And if families don't have confidence, we believe that if families don't have confidence that they can afford day school for all of their children, it makes it harder for them to commit to the first one. And so as a result, we really wanted to create a program that demonstrated that we understood the life cycle of a family throughout their entire time at Schechter. And that not all of their kids were all gonna be in school for all nine years at the same time. And so it was there a way that we could bridge that gap. And so by putting a tuition cap in place, that really helped give families some confidence that they could predict how much it was gonna cost for them to have a Schechter education for their children and not be worried as much about how much is going up in any one given year or what would happen when all of their kids were in the school. So that was really the genesis and the point of the program. And it's something that, that's the philosophy, and I think that's the philosophy that when I talk to other schools, that I, that's what I talk about. You know, we have focused this on families who make between $200,000 and $400,000 a year and at 15% of income, because at $25,000 per student, which is where our tuition is at about right now, and at, you know, a situation where, you know, price of the average home in Massachusetts is $850,000. That was the right target for us. And as other schools evaluate this, I really think they need to be thinking about what are their local economic conditions, where are their tuitions, what are their family's average incomes, and really tailor this mindset and this philosophy to their local community.